Hello. And welcome to another Cinema's tutorial. In this video, we will walk through Cinema's GUI and understand different components of Cinema's GUI. This is the screen you would see as Cinema's application is launched. And this area is called Cascade, where all the calculations are represented by workflows, which you will see in a few moments. The main screen area is divided into Cascade and Drawer. Cinema's Draw is the component where you prepare figures for publications or other purposes. A guide on how to work with Cinema's Draw can be found in another video tutorial. Now, let's move back to Cascade. From Cascade, we can navigate to Cinema's View or to Cinema's Plot. This is the toolbar area of Cascade, where several settings can be made, or different types of automatic or manual calculations can be set up. Let us now try to understand the toolbar area of Cascade. This is the file menu, and all the menu entries are self-explanatory. Here, close means to close the open project while keeping cinemas open while Exit saves the project and closes the Cinema's application. Next is Connections menu, where we can see a list of connections established to multiple remote servers. A separate tutorial can be referred on how to establish connections. The next menu is Import. Here, DFT input files can be imported from Materials Project to Cinema's, or a directory of pre-calculated data can be imported from the local disk for recalculation or post-process analyses. The next is Utility menu. Here, a periodic table is provided for users' ready reference. Also, a Python prompt can be opened directly from here for any suitable purpose. Preferences menu is the next. Here we can change the screen mode to keep Cascade and Cinema's view and plot in sliding or in side-by-side -side mode. We can add or remove potential files here or set a particular type of potential as default. We can configure any external executable to be used within Cinema's. We can choose whether to use the Python environment bundled with Cinemas, or any local installation of Python, only for the use in Python editor. Path of Latex executable can be set up to be used in Cinemas Draw. The next is Help menu, where we can directly go to Cinemas discussion forum webpage to post any question or look for answers. We can see Cinemas version information and license. And, any new version update can be checked. From here automatic calculations can be set up. As of the current version, we can set up calculations automatically for population analysis using Wanier functions, phonons related calculations using Phonopy, electron mobility using AMMCR code. Band structure, calculation of elastic and dielectric constants, k-points convergence, density of states formation energy, and total energy of a surface slab from bulk. We can also open a Python editor from here to execute Python over workflows. This is how Cascade screen looks like when a project is loaded into Cinemas. This displays all the calculations within this project as workflows. If you feel that Cascade screen is too crowded, you can zoom in or zoom out. You can even minimize the workflows individually, and if you hover your cursor it displays the job name. Automatic modules too can be similarly minimized. We can navigate to Cinema's view by clicking the vertical stripe. Or structure from individual workflow can also be directly visualized. We can navigate to Cinema's plot by clicking the vertical stripe. This has a table and plot arrangement. Data can be viewed and highlighted, and graphs can be made. 
From the style options, graph properties can be changed with full customization. OK. Let us now switch to Cinema's Draw. This is a figure already prepared in Cinema's Draw. This is directly exported from Cinema's View, while this is exported from Cinema's Plot. Graphics from Cinema's View and Cinema's Plot can be directly exported to Cinema's Draw and combining them a figure for publication, or other purposes, can be prepared. You can make any drawings on top of these graphics, as available from the toolbar. And finally the figure can be exported to a file format of your choice. In this tutorial we understood the design of Cinema's integrated GUI. Thank you for watching.